at least once a week, I have buyers tell me that they're going to wait for the market to crash or they're going to wait for prices to come down. So let's take a look at the numbers. Okay, we're lo what we're looking at here is the, uh, this is from California Association of Realtors. These are the numbers for as, as of October. So if you can see over here, uh, we have a year to date increase of 3.4%. So you'll, you'll see here the market kind of fluctuates a little up and a little down. But this is, you know, this and of course is R Riverside County. Uh, home sale prices are down, but the price of the houses are actually going up over the last year. Let's go to San Diego County. San Diego County, home prices have risen 1.2% over last year. And when you consider last year was a, it was a boom. It, uh, houses were selling like hotcakes last year. The interest rates were really low. A lot of people were buying. Uh, you were seeing um, people overbidding on almost every property out there. Lines at open houses. Uh, we're not seeing that currently. Um, San Bernardino County, same thing, up 4.5% over last year. Orange County, up 4% over last year. Los Angeles County, uh, up 0.6% over last year. And remember, LA County, the home prices were already uh, pretty high out there anyway. So, um, you know, that kind of, the, the increase looks about right for where they are. If you look at, uh, now we're going to go to the actual year over year, just kind of at a glance. And you can see right here, um, October of 2021, LA County uh, prices were about 849, or the average home price was 849,970. This October, average home price 854,780. Orange County went from 1.12 to 1.165. Riverside, five, 580,000 to 599,000 average home price. San Diego County, 850,000 to 860,000. I mean, as you can see, almost every county in, in California, not just Southern California, but all of California has gone up in price. Not all of them, but most of them. And when you're talking about home prices or home values, uh, a lot of people confuse home prices with the value of their home. Let's look at the numbers overall for, you know, the last, I mean, I, we, I pulled numbers for the last 30 years, uh, but if you can, if you can see this, um, Southern California last year, October, 2021 was 750 average or the median home price. This October, 2022, 773. So you can see 665 in October, 2020. October of 2019, six, uh, 569. October of 2018, 540. So let's go back five years to October of 2017 and look across the board, all these numbers have gone up. So so let's let's just do Los Angeles. We're at 580,000 average home price back in October of 2017. This year, average home price in Los Angeles was 500, I'm sorry, $854,280. That's huge. If you're, if you're gonna buy a house and you plan on selling it next year, probably not a good time to buy a house. But if you're gonna buy a house and hang on to it for at least five years, here's the numbers right here. I mean, we're, we're talking average home price in Los Angeles went almost, let's see, almost $300,000. Uh, Orange County, October 2022, you're looking at 1.165. And five years ago, average home price was $786,000. Keep going over here. We're looking over here. At the, let's go to Riverside County. 382500 to now 599990 And of course, you know, different areas to or bring down that overall price versus, you know, if you're looking in like Temecula, versus Hemet, you know, that the housing price is going to be less in Hemet, but 
you know, this, this is kind of average of all the cities in that county. Um, San Diego County, let's go back five years on San Diego, 603,000 versus to the, I'm sorry, October versus October, eight, uh, 860,000. So you're looking at a $250,000 increase in home prices. So the other thing to keep in mind is generally speaking during October, November and December, home prices or home sales actually decrease every year. Last year, not so much. The, the market was a little crazy. Uh, we all know that. But for the most part, during the holiday season, people slow down on buying homes. So, you know, we, we come in. It, 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 the funny thing is every year I notice that realtors or the market freaks out around October, or November, December time frame because Oh, you know, housing prices, the, the housing market is slowing down when in reality it happens every year like this. In conclusion, is it a good time to buy? I think it's a great time to buy because I think a lot of sellers are, are, are going off of the last two years and seeing their neighbors sell their house and getting 100000 over asking price and thinking that they can do the same thing today. So we're going in and, you know, talking to sellers and they're, they're saying, I want, you know, $100,000 over what the comps are saying. So we, you know, we, we're getting them into contract and they're going, uh, their, their houses are sitting on the market because they're way overpriced. And then we lower the house and we lower the house. And then someone comes along and says, well, your house has been sitting on the market for a hundred days. I'm going to offer you $20,000 less for your house. So that gets reported out as a, a decrease in home values, when in reality, it's a decrease in listing price. As you can see by the numbers, home value is, is continually, continually going up. I mean, we can go, let's go all the way back to uh, Los Angeles in January of 1990, or, or Orange County, this is Orange County, January 1990, I'm sorry, let's, go, let's actually go to October. October 1990, $229,000. Now, the average home price now in Orange County is $1,165,000. So that's a huge increase. If you bought that house and, and basically sat on it, you can retire to Tahiti, wherever you want to go. So basically, point is, now's a great time to buy a house. There's you can negotiate prices down. You can sometimes you can get buyers. I'm sorry. Sometimes you can get sellers to pay closing costs um, and other fees. And as you see by the numbers, those prices are going to continue to go up and up and up. And one of the reasons for that is because if you buy a house for eight hundred thousand dollars, are you going to turn around and sell it for seven fifty? Heck, no. You're not. You're just going to sit on it. Sometimes it happens. Yep. Sometimes you get a buyer or a seller that'll sell his house for less than he paid for it. More times than not, they won't sell it for less because they have to pay realtor fees. They have to pay escrow fees, closing costs. They got to move. There's a lot of things that they need that uh, equity to, to, you know, to pay for it when they sell their house. So you're going to find it really hard to find a house cheaper than the, the, the actual seller bought it for. So right now is an awesome time. If you have any questions or you need anything, just reach out to me, send me a, a message through my YouTube channel or go to my website at nexthomewest.com. Uh, this is Steve Batiste, broker owner of Next Home West Realty. Have a great day. Like and, like and subscribe for more updates.